Patrick Siebert, who accidentally took a Viagra this morning instead of my diazepam. And this is the funky, the cool, the Brian Fiore. Together we just got played, and tonight we're doing another Kickstarter. And that means you have the opportunity to get online right now and purchase this game. You could be one of the first people to ever get it, and it would help make a dream come true for a game designer out there. And this is an incredible game. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about Loot and Recruit? Uh, sure. Uh, Loot and Recruit is, as Patrick said, is currently on Kickstarter, and I believe the standard pledge is uh, thirty-five dollars. And I believe there's also a print and play option available for I think about ten dollars. Um, again, jump on uh, Kickstarter and check that out. Um, basically, in Loot and Recruit, you assume the role of a goblin recruiter, and What's happening is there's a goblin festival that is taking place in which they're going to elect their next goblin king. Um, and as the goblin recruiter, in order to gain the favor um, so that I guess you can become the next king, you have to convince enough goblins to um, join your platforms and build the, t the tallest towers that you can, which are representative of victory points in the game. Um, and I guess whoever ends up with the most towers and the highest number of points will become the goblin king at the end of the game. Each one of the little goblin groups represent victory points. So the more guys you have on your side, the more victory points you have, and that makes you the goblin king. Exactly. If there's one thing you really loved about the game, and I know you did like it, but if there's one thing you loved about it, what would it be? You had to pick one. I would say that this is a deck building game, um, but one thing that sets it apart and that I actually uh, really enjoyed was that it has an element where you get to um, attack other players. Um, they're, again, they're building their towers full of victory points, but you can get cannons and catapults and all kinds of stuff to knock down their, uh, to knock down their towers. So for a deck builder, it has that extra uh, player confrontation or that direct uh, player versus player element. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing that uh, you liked about the game? Well, I really felt the theme tied in very, very well with the rest of the game, including the artwork. I kind of like the idea of these goofy little goblins are on my side, and I'm trying to stack them up and build the biggest tower. I mean, and there's also a part of the game where you're going through different time phases of this festival, and, it, and you get different bonuses and whatnot. It really felt like I was trying to, to ravel these group up to to vote for me to be the next Goblin King. I really enjoyed that part, and the artwork really lends itself to that. So now the downside, if there's one thing you said, you'd, if you had to pick one thing you didn't like. Uh, the thing that I didn't like uh, is that it can get political uh, pretty quick. So if you start attacking other players, um, you really have to know the players that you're playing with. Because sometimes they get a little uh, revengeful and start attacking you back. And then if you're not playing, playing all of your politics outright, um, you can get a feud that's going, and then uh, some other player who might not be involved in the attacks might skate by and uh, you know win that round. Um, what would you say is the thing that you like least? Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of deck builders, and I've played Dominion, and I know everyone loves Dominion, and I've played Arctic Scavenger, and I know everyone loves Arctic Scavenger. I'm just not a huge fan of deck builders. I feel like they're a little fiddly. Now, this game is a little different. This game does have that player versus player combat system in it, and it does open a whole new avenue up. So I did really enjoy this game, but um, generally speaking, this isn't my kind of game, or deck builders aren't really my kind of game. One thing that I thought was also too was interesting about for a deck builder, a lot of times in deck builders, there's a whole bunch of combos that can take place, and usually one player will get in there and take like five or ten actions. Um, and the rest of everyone else is just sitting around waiting for the, like, the super player to finish their turn. Um, and in this one, there's just basically one action phase where, everyone, where you just play, and it just seems to, you know, the, the flow of the game seems to go a lot. The flow better. was really, really good, and you're right. That's one thing I did not like about Dominion is all those combos that tie that everyone else's time up while that one player is really kicking it. But that's a really good point. It, that's, that's an amazing point. This is Patrick and Brian with Just Got Played. Thank you very much for watching. And again, check out um, Loot and Recruit, currently on Kickstarter. The standard pledge is 35 and I believe there's a print and play option for $10 as well. I got so into the game at one point that uh, I really had to pee, and I didn't want to get up and leave you guys here. Like, I really didn't want to miss anything, because it was just so much fun for me to play. You gotta go, you gotta go. I, you're telling me, I, I went downstairs, and when I went to pee, a little blood came out. Not a lot. Don't act like that. I mean, it's just a little blood. I think you need to see a doctor. It, it wasn't, it was like, it was less than 51% blood. It was like mostly urine. It's probably from the Viagra you took this morning. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mm. Well, you know.
so the next time, i should take that.